So this is a good article and an opportunity for drivers, maybe just use the social media share, let's educate the rider, let's educate the passenger, how much you should tip your Uber and Lyft driver according to drivers and etiquette experts by the insider. Now, I'll get to the percentage in a short while, uh, you know, stay on board with us here. But um, I, th I think the big issue, and from what I read, uh, dialing into the community is that tips have become less and less. Why? Uh, well, firstly, the, the, the prices, the, the fares for the ride and the passengers have gone through the roof. So they say, oh my God, paying all this money, all this additional money, it's got so expensive, um, can't really now even afford to give a tip. Um, I want the rider and the passenger to know, hopefully you watch this video, hopefully you come across it because maybe another driver shared it. Um, you go out there, you tip uh, the waiter or the waitress, whether you're the $25 meal or a $250 meal, you tip them accordingly, right, for their efforts. Same to the hairdresser, same to this individual, that individual providing the service. The driver falls into that same category. They may get you home after a party because you've had a couple of glasses of wine. They may be able to get you to a business meeting in time or to a hospital for a checkup, right? That, that service needs to be tipped. Put aside, put aside for one second, dear, dear rider, how much your fares have increased by, right? The, the driver should not be punished for this. Right. This is not a decision by us. This is a decision by the company. And maybe you as the rider want to check in with your driver. Hey, by the way, I paid 50 bucks for this uh, trip. How much did you receive? Well, I received um, 17. What? Really? Are you telling me that the other $33 went to the company? Exactly. Here, check it out. Look at my phone. Right. So uh, educating, educating and educating the rider very important, muy importante. We have a chance also to educate the, the rider, the passenger here about tipping, the tipping etiquette. So let's dive straight in. Some Uber and Lyft drivers have complained about poor customer tipping recently. Pretty obvious. The fares have gone through the roof. The money is just not floating around as it was before. We asked drivers and etiquette experts how much Americans should be tipping for Uber and Lyft rides. I know the percentage, stick in, stick, hang on here. You're gonna, you're gonna get the percentage in a few minutes time. Very interesting. All agreed that tipping something is standard practice. Standard practice, dear rider, dear passenger. Uh, like it or not, tipping culture is ingrained in the United States, but it's up to every customer to decide how much. If anything, they give when they eat at a restaurant, order a coffee or take an Uber or Lyft. Now, I know, for example, uh, European, you know, if you're at a, a European restaurant, people are just not as great of a tipper as the Americans, right? So if, if I'm traveling and I tip a European waiter or waitress, they're like, wow, he must be American. Yeah, absolutely, right? 20, 30 percent, bam, straight away. Over the past year, some Americans have started tipping less often. In a bank rate survey over 2,400 U.S. adults conducted in May, the percentage of people who said that they always tipped waiters, hairstylists, food delivery workers, taxi and rideshare drivers, hotel housekeepers and baristas all declined compared to survey results from 2022 and 2019. Money is tight, ladies and gentlemen. Conversations about whether or not to tip and how much have been on the rise recently, especially as elevated inflation hurts Americans' wallets, while tipping levels could be normalizing after enhanced generosity during the pandemic. It's also possible some Americans are getting fed up with tipping after being asked to do it more often. Like at the self-checkout line, some ride-hailing drivers have even blamed Uber and Lyft for poor customer tipping. In recent months, Inside has spoken with several ride-hailing drivers who said tipping has gotten worse. However, Uber told Inside in May that tipping has increased since 2020. A Lyft didn't respond to a request for comment by the time of publication. Regardless of whether you're tired of tipping or trying to save money, 
four etiquette experts and drivers told Insider that it shouldn't stop you from tipping your Uber and Lyft driver. We asked them how often and how much Americans should be tipping after they get to their destination. You should always tip your driver. Thank you. Thomas Farley, a New York-based etiquette expert known as Mr. Manners, told Insider that as long as the trip was completed safely and satisfactorily, customers should always tip the Uber and Lyft drivers. The custom of tipping a driver has been in place since well before rideshare apps, taxis, remember? And the convenience of being able to summon a car with a tap on, on one's phone versus having to hail a taxi should put us in the mindset of being even more likely to tip, not less. Gabe Etz Hoken, a part-time Uber and Lyft driver in Oakland, California, told Insider that most of his customers don't tip, regardless of the level of service, and that it shouldn't be this way. I think passengers should tip as frequently as they do food service servers, bartenders, or other customarily tipped service workers, he told Insider. As long as we are not guaranteed a living wage, I think the ethical thing is to tip drivers. You should generally tip your driver at least 15%. There it is, 15%, right? Nick Layton, an etiquette expert and co-host of the podcast, Were You Raised by Wolves, told Insider that tipping between 15 and 20% is the general recommendation for Uber and Lyft drivers in the US. If you're paying $10 for a short trip, make it 12. If you're paying $20, make it 24, right? If you're paying $30, right, make it 36. It's not difficult, you can do the quick math. If you've done something that has made the ride less pleasant for the driver, such as watching YouTube videos without headphones, a full blast or spilling food on the seats, then a larger tip is also a good idea. Yes, it is, because we have to clean up. We got to, after every trip, I have to check clean up, whether it's the vacuum, uh, you know, whether it's cleaning the windows or, or whatever it is, right? You're going to spend time just cleaning up a lot of the mess. Farley said 20% should be the standard tip, but that customers who feel the driver went above and beyond should consider tipping 25% or more. For short rides, that cost under $10. He said Americans should have tipped at least $2. There, I just said it. Uh, Jeff Hernick, a 63-year-old part-time Uber driver in South Carolina, told Insider that roughly half of his customers left a tip last year. Ladies and gentlemen, when I compare rideshare, right, a majority of my trips I've done in SUV black. If I compare that to my private clients, it's almost a 95% 95% tipping ratio, right, on private trips. That adds up to a lot of money. That adds up to a lot of money. Um, yesterday, I billed 350 for a SoFi drop-off and pickup, 50 bucks, $400, right, for yesterday. So uh, I'm telling you right now, check out my links below, the private chauffeur course, the private driver course, when you're doing Uber and Lyft and private trips, you're stepping into that true independent contractor status way more than on Uber and Lyft. Your tips way more than on Uber and Lyft. Your, your earnings way higher than on Uber and Lyft. Yes, expenses, insurance, etc., higher, but there's no comparison. You need to do a combination of ride share and private trips to earn the real money. My course is below. However, Hernick said that a uh, dollar tip would be appreciated. You know, if you have a five dollar, uh, while he said three dollar tip is reasonable for most rides, there are a few types of trips where he thinks a bigger tip of of at least five dollars is particularly warranted. These include rides that are to and from the airport. Uh, however, Hernick said even a one dollar tip is appreciated. Right, one dollar helps towards the gas, dear rider, dear passenger. If all the riders who don't tip started tipping one dollar, drivers would be happy with the extra money. He said, and he's right. When Ed's Hoken gets tipped, he said, uh, it's typically averages between 85 and 15%. He said he thinks it should be at least 10% to 20% as long as the ride has met the customer's basic standards. Inflation should, should not stop you from tipping. While many Americans' wallets have been impacted by inflation, Farley said this shouldn't prevent them from tipping. Amen. One person... 
One's personal finances should not prevent a passenger from tipping at least the minimum acceptable percentage, though they may influence the frequency with which one uses a ride share app, he said. If you can afford to take a ride share to work a ride share to work every morning because you are always running late and just don't have the time to bother with the train, you can afford to tip. Farley said that customers can find other ways to save money on their rides, including accepting a longer wait time, comparing ride hailing prices, and trying to ride during less busy times. If you still don't plan to tip ride hailing driver, you're unlikely to get more than one lift ride with Ed's Hoken. He said that Lyft provides him 24 hours after the ride is completed to rate his customers and that he frequently gives non-tipping passengers a three-star rating. There we go. Doing so permanently unmatches them f um, them from him. So the three-star rating, what he's doing is like, you're not tipping me. I'm giving you three stars. I'm not going to be giving you another trip. I don't have to go through that non-tip procedure again. Ladies and gentlemen, again, reminder, dear rider, dear passengers, Drivers are grateful for the tip, right? Even if it's a dollar. Um, so doing so permanently unmatches them from him, he said, uh, which means he won't get the same customer again. He said, Uber only lets him rate customers soon after a trip ends. Since I only drive in a five mile radius of my house, it's possible this has improved my tips. Again, thank you very much to Jay Zinkula at insider.com if you want to email them. I appreciate the article. The article is real. It's very realistic. Uh, drivers and riders can relate to this. And I hope we make an effort. Let's share the video. Let's educate, 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 right? Let's help lift each other up. And, and passengers and riders, uh, you know, tipping goes a long way, a long, long way. And dear passenger, dear rider, make sure after the trip, right? Even if you, even if you feel that your, uh, the, 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 the trip fare has increased tremendously, right? In price in these times, 2023. Don't let that stop you from tipping the driver and check in with the driver. Hey, I paid 20. How much did you receive? I received seven. Oh my God. Maybe now you can make up that seven with another three. So he's in at least for 10, right? So you paid 20 and you know now he's getting 10 instead of seven. Just, just some basic math. Just some basic tipping etiquette will really uplift a driver's life. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, dear ride and passenger, after your next Uber and Lyft trip, what do you do? Give them a great rating, be generous, and give them a nice, handsome tip. God bless you all. Please be safe out there.